so just like uh, we have uh, um, we can add hard disk hard drives uh, to our physical computers um, for storage media photos anything uh, in our computer I want to do same on my virtual machines and let's see if it is possible or not um, let's go to settings so this oh, this one is hard drive ID controller the other one is DVD physical DVD you, it can get the access to your physical DVD drive from here the that's pretty neat uh, but that's uh, so let's go scurzy control oh hard disk right there or shared drive I'm gonna go with the hard drive virtual hard disk we can put a new one next mm, next All right, so give it server one. Let's name it server one, or server HD one. Let's give it HD one. Give it, let's say 50 GB. Uh, we will be confused uh, between the two. So let's give it 10, only 10. And we're gonna, in our mind, we're gonna think it's 100. let's finish it and it's not affecting our hard drive here no so that one is where the the operating system installed and this one the secondary hard drive you see it it's different name over here it's server 2019 and over here server hd1 let's go with okay and now run the server 2019 and hopefully that uh, hard disk will show up in there I'm gonna pause the video here so you don't have to see this loading all right so my server booted up and it's not taking my password that's why I paused the video because uh, it takes time and I don't want videos to be longer than they really have to be all right so the moment of truth will be soon let's uh, let it finish loading and nope it didn't show up let's d drive your eight point Where is the hard drive? If I go to settings, it is there. Do I have to do something? Zero in use. Inspect, browse, server HD1. That's busted. Alright, so I had to dig a little bit deeper and I might have found it. So basically, it's acting as if uh, it's not unformatted. And like in Windows, when it is in there, you have to go to the uh, device manager and so this. Is it initializing offline 10 GB? You see online there and offline right here. So we can bring online, yes. And it's online now. Thanks, God. <laughs> All right, so the partition is unknown. Can we format it? Take offline, initial, initialize. Let's initialize it. GPT, okay. So now it's GPT and reset disk. No, we don't want to let's see is it there now still no wow refresh what's happening 
it's uh, this PC. Nope. It's online now. Uh, this one online. Reset this. Yeah. Ah, it went on back to unknown. Initialize. And I think I know what to do. New volume. We make a new volume. And we give it uh rescan. We know it's yeah, ten GB. Okay, that's how you want to do it. And we give it the drive letter. D is already there, E. Okay. All right. Generate short file names, not recommended. Create. Well, I. Now I'm pretty hopeful it should show up. And it did. All right. I'm glad. Okay. So we see if we go to properties, it is uh, 10 GB. I'm glad uh, I did that. Uh, I was thinking uh, it will be pretty easy, but I'm glad I made this video. I learned something new uh, by trial and error, of course. Uh, that's how I do, I, that's how I learn things. Uh, it reminded me how I used to do at least. 18 years ago with Windows XP when I upgraded my first uh, storage I basically from went from 20 GB to 40 GB uh, like I bought another 40 GB hard drive uh, it, well uh, that's it that's how you add the um, uh, another virtual hard disk to your uh, server if you like this video please rate comment share subscribe and see you another video which is going to be um, file and sharing access through active directory that's why i wanted to add this uh, virtual uh oh, sorry uh, yeah another hard drive because i don't want to use i did not want to use the c drive because nobody uses the c drive for file sh storage on a server or let alone on the um, your uh, windows pc as well you want to use a separate uh, hard drive especially just for this purpose you don't want to mess up with your uh, windows or operating system installation drive so see you next video thank you good night